uh, good evening uh, before going to the tomorrow's prediction i will to go uh, review the today's closing and uh, as we spoke about yesterday's uh, market is going to end up in the negative it has been happened uh, the same manner and market was ended in the negative around 0.52 percent uh, i'll i'll show you some interesting fact um, how how the market is ended in that fashion and uh, so far uh, uh, we we talk about more about uh, more uh, yesterday around uh, r2 uh, 0.43 uh, if we take that 0.43 and add the r1 0.14 it gives you uh, 5, 0.57 and if you subtract uh, the s1 0.505 uh, it gives you uh, 0.52 so that is what exactly in the opposite uh, uh, market was closed um, and we we know that market is going to end up in the negative because of the weightage uh, which we got yesterday 0, 6.13 in the higher side so we we know the market is going to end up in the negative but this is how we need to calculate uh, the depth of the uh, level um, and we, we move towards uh, uh, tomorrow's prediction this is the tomorrow's prediction um, uh, we have uh, got so many uh, absolute frequencies uh, there around almost nine absolute frequencies what it shows is market is going to be a little bit volatile market tomorrow that is that is what uh, the absolute frequencies are indicating and uh, we have uh, um, 3.23 percent in the positive side which is um, uh, the weightage is on the positive side and the negative side uh, the bigger uh, percentage is uh, minus 1.97 percent is the negative and uh, one more interesting fact is uh, in, uh, in the in tomorrow's prediction total uh, past record was around 13 numbers um, uh, in the positive side it has been ended up uh, around six times and the negative side it has ended up around seven times uh, so uh, the indications are showing somewhere around tomorrow market may open around in the s2 level uh, around 0 0.43 in the negative side to 0 0.49 uh, those s2 level market may open uh, because of the sgx nifty is indicating uh, that uh, i can i will show you the sgx nifty is indicating somewhere around 48 points in the downside uh, so 0 0.45 percent it shows so that is where that is where it's going to open and you can see the uh, nasdaq is also on the negative side 0 0.60 percent so what uh, that indicates us uh, the market is going to open in the negative side somewhere around s2 level and it may move towards s3 level uh, the s3 level we have two levels around 0 0.62 in the negative and 0 0.84 in the negative 0 0.62 level in the negative is the new frequency match we talk about uh, the last five days about new frequency yesterday there is no new new frequency so i didn't uh, talk about that uh, this 0 0.62 percent is the new frequency so after the market opening market may try to reach towards 0 0.62 and after that it may try to reach uh, the next level of s3 is 0 0.84 but um, it may not sustain that it will come down to again uh, towards positive because of the frequencies are uh, matched in the uh, positive side and the star mark which I marked in the positive around 0.72 percent that is the absolute main frequency the other frequencies are absolute frequency but that is that is the main frequency so after the recovering uh, recovery of the market from the negative it may go towards to 0.72 percent and uh, I'll show you one more data about uh, the market uh, that is quite interesting because of the average uh, which I wanted to explain you the, the, uh, the entire data one data is missing uh, okay 0 0.6 0 0.06 data is missing in the previous uh, uh, thing because that is the that is the data which I updated newly so this is the data which I sent to my clients I'll show you when I took this data. You can see 19th May 2018. Uh, only I took this data uh, to send my clients. I have sent it on those days. Uh, and on the, on the particular day, uh, that, that particular data was not there because of I updated newly. So that is why that 0 0.06 uh, percent is added to it. And if we take the entire data, the average of it comes 
in the positive somewhere around 0.11%. What it shows is after the opening of the market in the negative side, the market will try to reach towards positive somewhere around 0.11%. The entire thing. So it will definitely going to come towards positive. On the other hand, if we take the um, negative side, for example, see the negative side which is around 0.06 and then it will go move out towards 0.26 and then step by step it is going to move towards to the negative and the positive side you can see around absolute positive uh, almost in the flat range 0.00 which is on the on that particular day market was ended in the flat range around uh, positive 0.06 points so that is why it shows almost zero and uh, the next uh, level is 0.43 and 0.55 and 0.72 those three levels may try to reach and zero uh, 1.17 i am not sure uh, how uh, possible it is but market may try to reach over uh, in the positive towards 0.7 to tomorrow uh, and uh, i want to show one more thing if we take the average of the negative entire negative it is matching to our new frequency level you can see the average of the negative gives 0.67 percent which is almost equal to the new frequency which is 0.62 which is 0.62 that is what uh, i spoke about in the s3 0.62 so the average of the uh, negative side is matching with our new, uh, uh, frequency new frequency level and the, at the same time the positive if we take the average of the positive if we take the average of the entire positive it gives 1.01% 1.01% so what this indicates is the average is having little higher advantage so market may open in the negative but it may not sustain there it may try to recover towards positive and try to close in the positive side some decent positive even if it is not 1% positive if we sub subtract this 1.01% uh, average with minus the average of 0.67 it gives us 0.34% in the positive side so tomorrow we may expect to open the negative and move towards positive and it may go and reach somewhere around 0.34% to 0.43% in the R2 level that is what the conclusion is and uh, let's see what the market is going to give up, give us tomorrow thank you